YouTube. What is going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button. So you know what I'm dropping another one of these things. Alright, I like I like taking y'all on these little sneaker journeys, man. So I'm here at the Fort Sam Houston Post Exchange. It's like our department store if you haven't watched one of the videos before. And um, 8 o'clock, we're supposed to open up. And uh, we get a little ticket. It's basically first come, first serve at you know, the ticket. You get your shoe, only one shoe per ID card holder. And that's it. So, yeah, it's a little crazy because there's nobody in here for this shoe. All right, so it's, it's three of us, y'all. So far, so I'm good. So these were in high demand. So in theory, I could have showed up at like 12 o'clock and got a pair. But these aren't in high demand. So this is, yeah. But shout out to um, this young man's grandfather. He's out here at the gate. So I'm right there. That's the gate right there. They'll open it up at 8 o'clock and hand us a ticket. I got the bags under my eyes, man. I'm telling you, like, I set my alarm and got up. I'm going to hear about it when I get to the house. <laughs> if I could get these for the low, I would not be here this early, man. I need to be asleep. So I got a concert to go to. Place. But we're going to see when the wool comes through if the outcome is critical. And when you're messing with this style, it's going to take a miracle. All right? You know where that came from. So we're going to enter the 36 chambers in a minute, give you all some cool footage. I'm going to have to... You know, mute it out and everything. Play a few seconds of it, cause I can't show it. All right, but let me know if you cop those Jim Red Nines. Um, I got up at about six, seven. Six is seven. about six thirty. <laughs> was dragging my feet like, oh, man. But I gotta get my steals and deals, y'all. I had to get my steal. All right, so uh, one fifty-two without that tax on there. And uh, truth be told, I really didn't pay that out of pocket, cause you know, I'm a hustler. I do what I need to do. But yeah, hopefully you like them. I don't think uh, those sold out. I didn't check anything like that. And uh, it's, it, it, you know, it looks like a general release, but a cool sneaker still. You know, something for the collection or whatever, something for you to rock. But resellers, sorry, not sorry. But we're about to head down to this theater. Actually, we need to go right here. dropped on Saturday morning and a lot of people said oh these are probably going to hang out for a while and some people are like they might sell out okay but contrary to pot belief like I always tell you guys you cannot believe what you see about online sales because online sales said these sold out and I checked various platforms if there were any available they were the aircraft carrier sizes out there and even some of those sold out we saw the, the pictures of people in the club and everybody had the same sneaker on, hating on, all that, all that good stuff. But you know how I feel about that. If everyone's able to get the shoe, that's how it's supposed to be. The people who are really upset are people who want to sell the shoe. And I've always said that. If you can't sell the shoe, you have a problem with those are GR. Those are GR because there's little to no retail value, resale value in it for you. But some places, some cities, they did sell out. And I always tell you, you can't base sneaker hype and things like that off your, your location. You can't do that because each region of the country has its own vibe. Some people may like this sneaker. Some people don't like nine, so the sneaker will hang out. But I was able to get my pair from the Post Exchange on Fort Sam Houston with relative ease. The hardest thing I had to do was convince myself to get out of bed at 7 o'clock and drive over there. It said the raffle starts at 8.30, but if you have seen my Concord 11 video concerning the post exchange you know i do not do that i will not show up when they're supposed to simply open it up and hand out the tickets because they hand out the tickets prior to last time and there were more tickets than sneakers so if you haven't seen that video that's what happened that's very very uh shisty. but anyway let's talk about the sneaker you all so the jordan 9 has a love-hate history in the silhouette 
of the retro Jordan line of sneakers because obviously Michael Jordan was playing baseball, hence the design of the sneaker. They did not know he was coming back until he sent that fax out saying I'm back, hence the white and black uh, uh, colorway that released early February of this year. However, you have to be careful when you start judging some of the silhouettes. If it has some of the classic colorways on it, of course, the bread, black and red, the game royal, the shadow, the orange and white, orange and black, prepare for people to jump on the high train and run away with it. So you have this nine right here in a white and gem red colorway. And it looks very, very basic, but it also has black hits on there. So people went after it, that was the thing. These black hits almost gave it a, a Chicago-esque vibe to it. So people went after it. And I don't have a problem with the fact that this sneaker was out here in massive numbers because hey you should be able to just walk into the store and get your sneaker without people with the bots running all over the place and i'm glad the resellers didn't touch the sneaker now truth of the matter is that i only have this is my third pair of nines i have the uh city of flight nines which a lot of people don't like i think they're pretty dope one thing i don't like is that milky sole on there and i have the bread nines which is really hype some people slept on so it was basic then they realized uh oh that sneakers got a little value to it and they were gone. They kind of sneakily sold out on people. So every time I rocked those, people look like, man, I should have got those. I don't know what I was thinking because they wanted more red on that sneaker. Now here we have this one, you know, the Jordan 9 setup, the patent leather and all that good stuff. Now, <clears throat> you gotta do a little historical reference when you look at how Jordan brand sets up some of these releases. We had a Midnight Navy 9 that dropped early this year or late last year, I believe. Now think about the other silhouette that did this. So we had the Midnight Navy 11s and we had the uh, the Windlight 96 or Jim Red 11s come right behind. They did the same thing with this. Now which sneaker sold more? The Windlight 96 11. Even though the Midnight Navy was a shot drop and released early and the hype was built up and it still was pretty much a, a severely limited general release but a lot more people got those. Then when the Concourse dropped last year, people said, oh, this is a redundant sneaker. I don't want those. Now they're kind of biting their words about that because that's a very dope sneaker. So they basically repeated the same thing. They replicated the same process. We're going to hit you with the Midnight Navies. Then we're going to come back with this Jim Red joint right here. And I saw it coming. I did not get the Midnight Navy nines because i was like i have the 11s i'm not a huge huge nine fan but i do like them i like the alternates more than anything and um i said well i'll flip it and i'll get this one and i'm cool with it i have not went after the win like 96 11s i'm cool with that i got a lot of monochrome red sneakers so i tend not to go after anyone that drops but this one's cool i'm good with this hey a lot of people have them it is exactly what it is it was available everyone and that's how the sneaker game should be you know i've dipped my little fingers into the resale game a little bit but i cannot call myself that because i do not run around and buy sneakers for retail and resell it on the market directly i only did that with my obsidian ones because i could and it, i came off pretty well but it not it didn't give me the itch to keep doing that so if i sell anything it's coming from the shelf I already had the sneaker for a while. I'm not buying it to sell it to you again. But these are cool. You can do a whole lot with this. A gem red and white sneaker. Very versatile. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Tap that notification button. And get down in the comment area. Let's chop it up. Y'all know I like talking to you all. And exchanging ideas and stuff like that. And we've done an amazing job of keeping the trolls away. Now some people would say, hey, this is for kicks. Your, video, your channel hasn't grown because you don't let the trolls in. They, they view your channel as boring. Thank you. Thank you. We don't need that around here. Okay? We don't need that around here. A lot of people gain traction because they entertain the trolls. And they see the value in the trolls. I don't see that. I'm older. I don't care to be going back and forth with some kid at his mom's house somewhere. Or his dad's house in the back room. You know, trying to get smart with somebody online. I was just on the, um, I think it was PFT. And they were talking about, you know, a uh, quarterback. And uh, I wrote a response and stuff like that. And somebody was like, oh, are you his mother? Wanting to troll. And the best thing you do with a troll, ignore them. Delete them if you can and ignore them. Because that's what they want. They want the attention. Please pay attention to me. Please, like a two-year-old, 
please pick me up. Please, you know, pay attention to me. I need the attention. I want that. Oh, I got people talking. So once you ignore them, that's it. And it's the, 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 I'm giving you some advice. When you see people act in a certain way and you realize that it's repulsive to you, the best thing you can do is avoid them and ignore them. Because a clown, if they do not have an audience, is just a funny looking person dressed weird. Other than that, they're just weird looking, right? That's what clowns do. Why is this person with a red nose and some big shoes and a yellow suit walking around balloons? Yeah, whatever, okay? Other than that, if you stand there and watch them, that's what they need. So don't entertain the clown. And I'm out of here. Boom.